Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lowrance, Duncan V. Lodge, Fort Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Mike Fort Mueller. It's been a while, friend. It has, Mr. Mike. And I'm kind of excited because we're up here in Rivers Inlet. We're staying at Duncanby, so you get to come up and experience the Duncanby difference, as I call it up here. That's right. A little different than what we used to. We're usually up in the central coast, but now we're, I guess, kind of central coast, just but a little more south. And so we were talking about it, and we we're going to relive probably some of the my favorite episodes. Uh, Coho competition. This would be number... Doesn't matter, I've dominated all of them. <laughs> True enough. Any ones that have made air anyway, if you noticed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're we're gonna, we got a beautiful kind of late morning right now. We made it up, run up from uh, Port Hardy. So we are uh, gonna go out and do some coho fishing. And, and from all reports, they're thick as thieves. Yeah, exciting. So we're gonna, uh, it sounds like we're gonna run on, run into the south, south end of Calvert over there. And uh, you're gonna lose. Well, uh, I'm going to put in my best effort, well, as I always do. You know, you do. Yeah, you do. I do. I, you know what? There's no losers when we're fishing. No. It's just bragging rights. And I've had a lot of bragging rights over the years. I know you've gone easy on me. and you. But this year, I want you to try, okay? I don't, but no stealing of other people's lures, right? I don't steal anything. Or temporarily borrow to go and catch your coho? No, no, no. I've never done that. Oh, no, 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 I've never done no. that. Um, but what we will do, though, is we'll do fair choice. Because I will admit, last time, there was a hot side of the boat that I forgot to mention to you. And I fished off that side, and it was four nothing within. Not close. Yeah. So this year, I'll all transparency. There is no hot side of the boat, but we'll we'll pick. We'll <clears> let <throat> you pick which side of the boat. We'll do rock paper scissors to see what side of the boat, and then we'll also do rock paper scissors who gets first pick of gear because there's some some key flashers we want and some key gear we want. That's correct. And rods and reels. I mean, they're they're we've got two setups of each, so it doesn't matter to me. So if you're cool with whatever, I'm cool with whatever. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. So let's uh, let's talk about rules though first. Okay. So. We were thinking, um, so we'll do two points per fish, uh, extra point for first fish and an extra point for biggest fish. And the account of a tiebreaker uh, goes to the host. Deal. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And argue that. Made that work, yeah. My boat, That's, my rules. All right, might as well just go home think, right now, I right? Think that flag used to say that, <laughs> my boat, my rules on it. Yeah. So uh, we'll figure out that part anyway. So that sort of thing. So, and we'll do uh, four fish. Uh, first one to four uh, will win, but I guess technically there, we'll see how the score is at four. Because if I get four right away, four, you could still come back with your with the biggest. So we'll have to see after four fish are caught. We'll have to see who's got the first and the biggest. That could be a play and everything. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. So I get pick of the boat. No, I had dynamite out. No, nope, that was uh, two for sure. I'll <laughs> okay. take uh, that side of the boat because that is the hot side of the boat. Okay, and then we'll do uh, again to see who gets to pick first for the gear. Ready? Oh, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, look at oh. you. Okay, you get first pick. Ooh, that's a good choice. Why you wouldn't pick the best flasher on the coast? But that's right. uh, and then I'm gonna go. Oh, I'll go red. Let's try this. Oh, this you need a micro. You can do a micro. Okay, so I'll go green cyclone. you've caught a fish, you got to replace that gear. Completely, 100%. So, okay. uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and attach my, all my flash. Yeah, that's what I'm going to so do. So it's ready to go. Yeah, we're just going to yeah. go. Bada bing. Hot, hot shot and go. Okay, swivels. Okay, well, we're going to go. What would you put down first? I went with the uh, party girl. Oh, I went flash fly cyclone flasher, the mm. green cyclone. Interesting choice. Yeah. It's a good thing that we didn't put down double cyclone. We would have a frenzy of fish. Now what depth did you go to, my, Mr. Mike? I went to 46 on the AM dial. Perfect. Uh, 57 on Ooh. that. I'm hoping that by going shallower, 
I'll be able to get the rod in faster and do a quicker changeover when I get my first one. Ah. There's some snacks up there if you'd like. Help yourself. There you go, Mike. Still there? Swing and a miss. Oh. <laughs> Two. What is going on? Oh, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> there? He's there. Oh, don't lose this one, Mike. No. Oh, finally found him here. Well, I'm happy for you. You know? Same here. That's good, yeah. Beautiful. See, that's... It's a Chinook. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Oh, no, it's a coho, but we'll let it go. All right. Oh, no, that's not. Let's that's, that's double check here. Whoa, get over that engine there, little boy. Okay. Well, oh, it's whoa. a coho. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, good. Okay. Sorry. Actually, good. you know what? I got it in the eye, so I got to take yeah, it. You got to take that one anyway. Okay. Yeah. Lift up the back a bit. There you go. Okay. Three points. Winner, winner, Mike. chicken hey, dinner. First fish on the trip, buddy. Congratulations. It's not a bad little fish either, though. No, it's got a little bit bigger. That'll make for some great table fare. Right, you just deal with this. Okay, appreciate that. Put this boat back in gear. Excuse me. Let me get out of the way here. <laughs> How about your fish uh, face that your side of the boat? Okay. Hey, that makes a really good sense there. Yeah. Three points. Okay, that's three points, Mike. Way to go. Congratulations on the positive fish ID there after three tries. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Wrong side of the boat again. Mike, you picked the right combo, that army truck. Yeah, way to go. Well, this is pretty good. Mike's Mike is putting on a fishing clinic for us. We got humpbacks off the front of the boat. This rod's just being nice and washing tackle over here. Right now. <laughs> this one's definitely coming in a lot easier. Oh, it's a little guy. That could be that's a coho for sure though. There you go, Mike. Look at you. Slaying them. Oh, come on, come on, we got you up. <laughs> Look at how clear that water is, too. Beautiful. Whoa. Okay, watch yourself here. That's a beautiful fish. A little bigger. What do you want to do with this guy? Pop him loose? No, nope. I'd like to okay. uh, we'll take a coho. All right. Coho. My favorite salmon to eat is coho. Mike, great fish, buddy. I'm, I'm jealous and happy for you. Awesome coho. Yeah, a little dirty, but we'll clean her up in there. Love those. Yeah.
on the way down. Good show, Mitchell. Well, I finally caught a fish, Mike. Or at least have it on longer than a hit and run. And I just dropped down, there he is. And oh, swimming past the flasher. That's definitely a coho. Oh yeah, look at that rip. Okay, you wanna grab the net, Mike? Sure. Ready? I've never done this before. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm on the board. Fishing my numbers. Oh. <laughs> get off, get off. Stay, get off. stay. Get off. Stay. No. Oh, it's a shame. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. The Thai mother. Holy man, look at that. The brass inlays represent the eggs inside her and the eggs she lays. <laughs> in the first year of our program in 2008, one person released their Thai salmon. This year, 93 to 97. You gotta drive the boat here at the same time. Coho Madness. I think we found him. Is this number three for you already? Yep. I've lost three and. Oh, okay. Oh, I shouldn't talk first. Let's get the head up. I got him for you, Mike. Oh, look at that. It hooks her out. You can pop that guy. I believe it's 3 1. 3 1. <laughs> Okay, yeah, three one still. Beautiful looking chum you got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Mike's even got Mike's got the lead with the biggest one in there so far too. So whew, I got a long way to come back here. He can't catch another fish. I have to be able to catch three more to his one to none. Oh, did we say first one to four? I believe so, right? Eh? Or do we just say four fish total? First one to four. First one to four. Okay. To know. And I've lost three and, and... I've lost like seven, so we won't call lost fish anything else. Fisherman's tails, you know? Okay. That is a coho. Oh, exactly my numbers again. That's a coho. Look at the way that thing's fighting around back there. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> yes! Oh, it fell through. Oh, that might be, oh, look at that. Look at that fish. That's a big fish. Three, two. Mr. Cole. <laughs> Once he saw me catching fish 57, what's he fishing? 55, 58. 56 is my football number. I always say 56 and you know that. Yeah, but you never played 56 all morning until I got my second one well, in the boat. Well, that's just smart. I was playing the field there. 44 all the way down.
bigger and better. The Lowrance Ultimate Fishing System upgrade now offers more. A new $200 rebate on active target live sonar and bigger savings with up to $1,200 cash back. Pick fish finding tools to fit the way you fish. From high performance sonar and ultra quiet ghost trolling motor to navigation and networking tools that bring it all together. Find more, see more, catch more. Famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful rivers inlet, BC. No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Mike, you want to grab the net? No. You're not keeping that. Oh, I'm going to let him go, but that still counts. Well, we don't need to use the net for that. Okay. We'll flip it off with the gaff. Okay. It's a pink salmon. Let's let him go. Right? Isn't it? Yeah, it's a pink. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Never been so happy to see a pink! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I was trying to help you there. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. Pink spoiled by a pink. <coughs> <laughs> that sucks. <clears throat> What do you got there? That's a, That's a call. Oh, okay. Net, 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 net. There. Oh. Ah, come on. Yeah, actually, you know what, Mike? Makes you feel better. Yeah. When you got that thing up, and I was like, God, no. He's gonna have that wicked comeback from <laughs> three nothing to three one to three two to. Two, four, three, and be a winner, and it would have made for an excellent show, and the viewers would have really liked that. <laughs> yeah, they would have liked it. And I think that that's even the biggest fish now, too. That's a good fish, Mike. Did you put it in neutral just to make sure I didn't catch another fish? Is that what it was? Well, Mike, it's been three years since you've come out and had your butt kicked by me. I had to go easy on you today. <laughs> you think so, eh? <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Uh, lots of fun as usual, you know. And I can concede I don't mind losing. I hate losing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I hate losing. That's I really true. do. Yeah. Not not a good loser. I don't mind losing to you. But it's happened once before, maybe twice or four or six. But just say one for now. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, no, lots of fun, man, as usual. And I really appreciate uh, appreciate coming out and experiencing this. And this is just a beautiful spot. It is. Right. And normally we're fishing a little north of here, so this is a new. This is a new tech, new territory for us. Yeah. To, yeah. To go. So we had to, you know, get some intel of where to fish and stuff, and it's been fantastic, right? Yeah, no, Fast. I appreciate you Fast know fears. inviting me up and yeah. being able to have a lot of fun coal fishing with you yeah. yet again. Yeah, Jesus, still stinging, man. It just, I don't have it. I'm, gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> tough. I'll be rolling in bed thinking of the fish I lost and thinking about that pink, that darn pink. Well, that's the the, the pink salmon got me nervous too, because <laughs> yeah, I did. thought it was a coal, and yeah. then there was a huge comeback. <laughs> yeah, it was from Team Mitchell, yeah, but not right. the case. So. Not today. But uh, we'll kind of do something a little more conventional here. We'll we'll show our uh, we'll talk about our gear here, and then we'll sign off on the show. Okay. Normally we you know this would be the ending, but we got to show the product, show the, right. the winning the winning stuff competition and, or uh, yeah. combinations. Right? Yeah. And yeah. speaking of which, you know, we'll we'll lead into this. I would normally lead into this talking about the gear that we've been using, but maybe you should, since you had the winning choices here. Uh, right? yeah, sure. Okay. So we'll just pretend we're cutting here, and you just flow right into it. 
a look at today's tackle and gear. Okay, so my four combinations that I chose was uh, the first one I went was with the party grill, the four inch party grill and with the glow flasher. And then I followed that up with then the army truck jug head on a mini flasher. And that thing actually, I got yeah. one of my bigger fish on that I lost and yeah. that I had equal amount of hits yeah, yeah. on both of those set up there. And then I went with the white flash fly behind the cyclone flasher. And that wasn't down very long. No. Uh, Man, you were uh, bang, bang. Minutes, I bang no, no, I don't even know if it was that long. Pretty good. And then of course, then I finished off and you said, oh, Oh, I'm nervous when you. Yeah, the blue. Then you're gonna use that as a finish with, yeah, right? Yeah. But then you then started coming back, but it was uh, it was phenomenal, to say the least. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot well, of fun. And I I'll guess. show that the product I did catch fish on. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to get anything else down. I'm confident with other stuff. It was just timing. I missed a bunch of fish to start. That just set me back. You can't. You in these games, you after can't miss, after miss. miss fish at the beginning of a competition. That's right. So anyway, I went. I went with the uh, green cyclone and the you know basically the purple uv uh flash fly and then one of my new favorite spoons was the black black uh, reflex on another micro flasher too and i i love micro flashers they're they you sure feel the fish especially if you get some smaller fish yep. you can really feel that but i've caught ties on micro flashers yep. so it's not always uh for that right but uh here, that was my my successful combinations i'm not gonna say the losing combination that's my successful combinations and then of course we're using ten and a half foot um the new lure jensen legacy rods with the reel and we paired it up this time with uh, this is the brand new suffolk tangerine high vis line great line it's got yeah. uh, came off the line and it's just supple i just kind of you know folds off nicely and this is something that we get asked a lot too is a lot of guys now have switched over uh single bead and then they've gone to now a stainless steel uh encased ball bearing swivel and the reason we do that is jellyfish and we learn this Years many, and years many. and years of yeah. fishing when you get the jellyfish uh, tentacles lined up in that uh, traditional uh, bead chain swivel. It doesn't spin anymore. And it just binds that up. Yeah. And, and then the line that transfers twists. all the way yeah. up. Yeah. And this is this is foolproof. This, this you know, these these aren't as cheap, but they they've saved a lot of uh, missed fish and a lot of untangling and re-spooling lines and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's a great tip to go and, and grab these and get them bulk usually at most stores. Just a stainless steel ball bearing swivel with a coastal lock. Well worth the money. There. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right, well, thanks for coming. Well, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> thanks, thanks for winning. So you could have just given me one today, you know? No, I've given you many, many in right. the past. All right. Uh, All right, folks, we're going to follow up a quick list, as much as they hate to say it, and we'll have to sign off on this show. And thanks for joining us. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. You want to say anything, champion? I think it's the final word. Just get out on the water and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>